It's time for a story, you guys. Let's see where Caillou went today. Today's story is called Caillou at Daycare. It was Caillou's first day, and he was a little bit nervous. I don't want to go, Mommy. I want to stay with you. Oh, so do I, Caillou, but you know, Mommy has to go to work. And daycare can be fun. Hear that? Hello, I'm Ann Martin, the teacher. And you must be Caillou. Caillou was scared and shy. Now I'm going to have to go, honey. <laughs> no, I don't want you to go, Mommy. I'll be back, Caillou. Don't be sad. Even Caillou's mommy was sad to leave him at daycare for the first time. Here, Caillou, have a glass of apple juice. Do you want me to introduce you to the other children? Okay, maybe after your juice then. Hey, those are my blocks! Mommy! <laughs> your mommy's gone. Hi, I'm Clementine. What's your name? Uh, Caillou? That's Leo. He doesn't like to share. Do you want to play? I'm doing cutouts. See? Here's an apple, and that's a banana, and this is raisin toast. You can't eat them, though. They're only pretend. Do you like daycare? I like staying at my grandma's better. That's where you stay when your mom and dad are busy? She's an artist. And I get to play with paints and brushes and paper and crayons and chalk and colored pencils. We got all that stuff here. Oh, boy. I'm going to paint a... a robin. I'll do cutouts of what robins eat. That's worms! That's a good robin. Could, could you teach me how to paint like that? Sure, Leo, if you teach us how to build a castle. A castle has to have lots of towers. A worm has to have lots of twists. And a robin has to have lots of red. Here, Leo, you can make a flag for the castle. Caillou! We have to make this tower higher. Caillou was having so much fun playing, he didn't even notice his mommy and daddy. Look, I'm making a castle. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, come read us a story. A story about Caillou. I wonder what Caillou did today. This story is called Caillou and Gilbert. Look, Gilbert. This is a picture of a cat. I'm tired of coloring. I want to play with someone. Rosie. Caillou wanted to play with someone, but he knew he wasn't supposed to wake up Rosie when she was taking her nap. Caillou! Shh! You know better than that, Caillou. But I need someone to play with, Daddy. Sorry, Caillou. We can't play with you now. You can play with Rosie later. Hmm. Caillou didn't want to play with someone later. He wanted to play with someone right now. to play with me, Gilbert? <laughs> Caillou suddenly thought of another game they could play. I'll be right back. Oh. Caillou
Now, you knew that Gilbert would not like a story about a doll, but he thought Gilbert would love a mouse story and a story with birds. Look, Gilbert. It's story time, Gilbert. This is a story about a mouse named Mousie. One day, Mousie... Uh, Mousie had a friend named Meesey, and one day Meesey and Mousie... Gilbert, look at the cute mouse! Gilbert, look here! Hmm. I know what we can play. Hold still. Daddy will take you for a nice ride. Here, take that corner. Gilbert! Ah. Gilbert and I are playing dress up. I'm the daddy. Caillou, dress up is a people game. A people game? You know how you don't like to play baby games? That's because you're not a baby, right? Yes. Well, Gilbert's a kitty cat, not a person. So he likes playing kitty cat games. Do you know what games he likes best? Yes! You like cat games, don't you, Gilbert? <coughs> Meow. <coughs> Get it, Gilbert? Meow. We're kitty cats playing a game together. Meow. <coughs> what nice kitty cats we have. <coughs> story about Caillou? Let's see now. This story happened when Caillou was only three. It's called Caillou's Summer Goodnight. When is she coming? She'll be here any minute. Come in, Grandma. I can't fit. Oof. Grandma. Grandma was Caillou and Rosie's favorite babysitter in the whole world. Hi, kids. What have you got there, Rosie? <laughs> After Mommy and Daddy left, Grandma played games with Caillou and Rosie. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was bedtime. While Grandma read Rosie a story and put her to sleep, Caillou washed his face and brushed his teeth. Then he went to bed and waited for Grandma to come and read him a story. Grandma! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a... While Grandma was reading the story, Caillou got sleepier and sleepier. Night, night. Gilbert, ow! <sighs> Caillou was wide awake again, and he couldn't get back to sleep no matter what he did. He tried rearranging his pillow. But that didn't help. It was summer, and it was still daylight outside. How could Caillou sleep when his room was so bright? Oof. Sleeping the wrong way around didn't work. Caillou really couldn't sleep, and now he was feeling quite cranky. Caillou, you're all mixed up. Your head is where your feet should be. Mm, Grandma, I can't sleep. Well, I'm not surprised. It's too bright in here, and I can see why. You don't have any curtains. Where are they? Oh, yes, I remember. Your mommy took them to the cleaners. I have an idea. Caillou was very curious about Grandma's idea. There you are, Caillou, a night sky. Now you'll be able to sleep. Thank you, Grandma. But if it's a night sky, I think something's missing, don't you? Ready, Caillou? Wow! 
Caillou's night sky was so beautiful and dreamy that he fell asleep very quickly. How about a story, kids? Yay! This story is called, Caillou is Scared of Dogs. I'm going to build the biggest castle ever. Done! Oh, oh, oh. Caillou was scared. The dog sounded angry. Mommy! Oh, 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 oh. Mommy! Oh. Mommy! Caillou, what's the matter? That doggy scared me! The next day, Caillou was looking forward to going to his grandma's while Mommy did some shopping. But Caillou and his mommy didn't know the grandma was looking after her neighbor's puppy for the day. I have a special friend staying with me. Would you like to meet him? Yes, please. <laughs> Caillou? Don't worry, Caillou. That's my special friend. I really think he'd like to meet you. No! But Caillou, he's only a little puppy. Why don't you just come and see? I promise he won't hurt you. Well, okay. See, Caillou? He's only a little puppy, and he's very friendly. Yes, Grandma? Well, if you're scared, why don't we shut the door so he can't get out, okay? Okay. Caillou was still a bit nervous, even though he knew the puppy was safely in the kitchen. Ah! Oh, honey, it's okay. Hey, I have an idea. Let's read a book about dogs. Caillou was enjoying reading about dogs with Grandma. And he was beginning to be curious about that little puppy in the kitchen. He's barking, Grandma. We'd better go see what he wants, don't you think? Maybe he's hungry. Who's a good boy, then? Are you hungry? Here's a treat. Mm, you like that, don't you? Caillou was still a bit nervous. But when he heard his grandma, he decided he really wanted to see the little puppy again. <laughs> What's so funny, Caillou? <laughs> he looks like one of Mommy's slippers. <laughs> See, Caillou? He wants to be your friend. He's wagging his tail. It means he's happy to see you. If you hold out your hand, he'll say hello. <laughs> that tickles! I think you've made a new friend, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, doggy. What do you know? The puppy wasn't scary at all, but friendly and fuzzy and fun. Get it, boy! Good boy. Catch! <laughs> Shh! Look! Mommy, I like doggies now. Know what time it is? It's time for a Caillou story. Well, now, let's see what Caillou did today. I think he met some animals. Today's story is called Caillou Goes to the Zoo. Hi, welcome to the zoo. My name's Zoe. Are we going to see lots of animals? Oh, yes. And we're very excited because lots of our animal families have new babies. Would you like to see some baby wolves? Baby wolves? Really? Wow. See the baby wolves? Those are their noses. Why don't they come out? I want to see them. They were just born the other day. So they want to stay with their mommy. Oh, I wanted to see them. You know, Caillou, they'll stay with their families all their lives. Do all the baby animals stay with their mommies and daddies? Oh, no. Most animals leave their families when they're big enough. Would you like to see another animal family? Yes, please. Caillou liked the idea of animals having families. Where are they? Where are they? They must be in their house, Caillou. I'm afraid we might not see them today. Although, 
I think we might be lucky after all. Wow! He's so big! The rhino's as big as a dinosaur! Rhino Dino! Rhino Dino! You know what, Caillou? That rhino is not a he. She is a she. And she has a baby. Really? A baby rhino? Of course, Caillou. Even really big animals have babies. Look, look, it's the baby rhino. He's not very cuddly, but I think he's cute as a button. Yay, a sea otter. It's a sea otter. They're my favorite. That little guy came to us when he was just a baby, Caillou. Does he have a family too? I'm afraid not. You see, his mommy died. His mommy died? Will he be all right? He'll be fine. But you know, because he didn't have his mommy to show him what to do, we've had to teach him everything. <laughs> Even how to swim and how to feed himself. It was the first time Caillou had seen a real sea otter. <laughs> I wish we could take him home with us. Oh, you can't do that. He's almost ready to go back to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Caillou? That chimpanzee looks like Grandpa. <laughs> You're right. He does look like Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That little guy looks a bit like you, Caillou. He's coming to say hello. Story time, kids! What's the story today, Grandma? Well, let's find out. What's Caillou up to now? Today's story is called Caillou's Rainy Day. We are going to run a few errands together. With all that rain outside, we have to dress up to keep dry. can jump in all the puddles! Uh-oh, this feels funny. Here, let me help you. It's okay, I want to do it. Oof. I did it! Great! Need some help with your buttons? Let's go. But Caillou had forgotten something very important. Mommy? Yes, dear? I have to go to the bathroom. <sighs> I'll wait for you here. Caillou rushed off to the bathroom. On his way there, something caught his attention. Caillou? 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 Daddy! What are you doing here? I... I was, um, going to the bathroom. Oh, no! I've got to go now! I really have to go... May I see your airplane, please? Let's land your airplane back in the airport, okay? It'll still be here when you come back. And have you forgotten about Mommy? Mommy! I forgot! Did Mommy wait for me? Caillou came back quickly to meet his Mommy. But when he got there, she was putting away the raincoats. Mommy, I'm here! Aren't we going anymore? Oh, no, we're still going. But look! The sun was shining, so Caillou and his mommy didn't need raincoats. But there were still plenty of puddles. This one first, and this one goes in here. Mommy! I think you forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Puddles! Look, Mommy! I know they're fun, but we have to run errands now. 
You know what we can do, though? We can leave tracks on our way to the store. Look! It's story time! When Caillou was just a little boy of three, he went to the ocean for the first time. Today's story is called Caillou at the Beach. Caillou's family was on vacation. It was his first trip to the ocean and the beach. The beach, the sea, we're off to see the sea. Caillou, Rosie, do you hear that? What is it? That's the sound of the ocean. We're here. Caillou was so excited, he couldn't wait to get to the beach. Oh, look, Mommy, the ocean. Yes, and look, Caillou, the sun. And that means sunscreen. Yucky. There, that should do it. Hmm, this is a nice spot. Who wants to go in the water? I do, I do. Caillou hadn't had swimming lessons yet, so he held his daddy's hand tightly as they ran into the... It's cold. Oh, it's all right once you get used to it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou loved any kind of picnic, but a picnic on the beach was best of all. Caillou's sandwich had sand in it. Look, Mommy! Well... Hey, that's my sandwich! <laughs> followed that strange little crab that lived in a shell, all the way to a tidal pool full of creatures from the sea. There were starfish and seahorses and sea urchins. Ouch! <gasps> Who wants to help me build a sandcastle? I do, I do! Like this, and like this. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look! When the tide comes in, it's time for us to go. My castle! Well, we'll have to come back tomorrow and build another castle. And we'll come back the next day, and the next day, and the next day, Story time, kids! Let's see now. Today's story is called Caillou's New Shoes. Some help tying your laces, Caillou? No. My shoes hurt. Honey, your feet have grown. They're too big for these shoes. You need a new pair. Here, these will do for now. Put them on and we'll go to the shoe store right away. Now, Caillou loved to splash in rain puddles with his boots, but today it was sunny he wanted to run. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hi, Caillou. Where are you going? To buy a new pair of shoes. 
We'll have to have a race when you get them. Bye. Bye, Sarah. I want shoes to run fast like Sarah. Come on, Caillou. Caillou liked looking at all the different kinds of shoes and boots. There were all kinds of sandals. And lady shoes. And even work boots. Do you like best, Caillou? Um. Caillou just couldn't make up his mind which color he liked best. Well, now, before we decide on the color, maybe we'd better measure your feet. Now, let's see. You are a size. a size seven. Mommy, mommy! I'm a size seven! My, your feet have been growing, Caillou. Now, do you want the blue ones or the yellow ones? I want the... How about the green ones? Green? Yay! We'll just put your boots in the shoe box so you can take them back home. Your new shoes are very nice, Caillou. And so are my new shoes. But you have to measure your feet first. <laughs> My feet stopped growing a long time ago. Race me, Sarah. You're going too fast for me. Race me, race me. Anyone up for a story? Come and sit by the fire. It's nice and cozy. Let's start. Tonight's story is called Caillou Snowman. <laughs> Got one! Me too! <laughs> Let's make a snowman! A snowman? Wow! Do you want to help me? Caillou thought that was a great idea, even though he didn't know exactly how to make a snowman. Yes! Why don't you start making the head? I'll make his body. Okay! Gonna make a snowman! can do that. Hey! Oof. I can't do it. I hate making the snowman. How's the head coming along, Caillou? Hmm. I can't make it. You can't? Don't worry, I'll show you how. We're going to make the biggest snowman in the world. The biggest snowman in the world? In the universe. <laughs> I think that snowball is big enough. Let's make new ones. Oh. <laughs> First, you have to make a tiny snowball. See? Caillou liked having Sarah to show him what to do. Oh. A snowball! You did it! Hey! But Caillou wouldn't stop. Sarah didn't think the game was funny anymore. Fine. If you don't want to make a snowman, I'm leaving. No, stay, please. I want to make a snowman with you. Now look, it's easy. I'm finished. All right, let's put our snowman together. We have to put it on top of this one. Are you ready? <sighs> oh, I think it will hold. Now we need a head. That's your snowball. Okay. Hi, kids. I have a surprise for you. Look in the bag. A carrot? We can use it to make the snowman's nose. Wow. <laughs> the bag was full of great surprises. 
And very soon, the snowman had a big smile on his face. Hmm, I have something else. Let's see if it fits. Look, Sarah, he's beautiful. And he's the biggest snowman in the universe. Wonderful. Now, how about coming inside for a snack? Wait! What's this? It's a snowball. No, it's a snack for the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> It's story time, kids. Now, I wonder what Caillou did today. Today's story is called, Caillou is a Clown. Guess what, Rosie? We're going to a parade. Parade, parade. <coughs> We're going to see horses, drummers, and clowns. I love clowns. No clowns, no. Hey, Rosie. Yay, we're going to the parade. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Caillou, I don't know about this. What's the matter, Mommy? I don't know if it's such a good idea to go to the parade. Why not, Mommy? I want to go to the parade. There'll be clowns, Caillou, and you know Rosie's really afraid of clowns. No, she isn't. Not anymore. I want to go. Caillou was miserable and angry. It wasn't fair. Why can't we go just because Rosie's a silly baby? Remember, Caillou, you used to be afraid of clowns, too, when you were little like Rosie. Well, what are we going to do now? Then Caillou had an idea. See, Rosie? It's not scary. Uh, uh, Rosie, do me a doll. I know, Mommy. I'll cover her eyes when the clowns come by. Come on, Caillou. Let's go up to your room. Why? I have an idea. Maybe we can go to the parade. But I need your help. Caillou just couldn't imagine what Mommy's idea could be. Let's see. These'll do. Let's show Rosie that clowns aren't scary, because they're only people wearing clown clothes. Okay. Look, Rosie. <laughs> Peek! Peek! Look! Here! <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, you're a clown. <laughs> Beep. So now Rosie wasn't scared of clowns anymore. Rosie, look. Okay, kids, I guess we can go to the parade now. Yay! <laughs> Hold still, Rosie. <laughs> Are my two clowns ready to go? Yes! Let's go! How would you like to hear about Caillou and a very special friend today? Today's story is called Caillou's Special Friend. Whee! Yay! Caillou was playing with his special friend George. Caillou's friend George was a very special friend. We could play dinosaurs. Only Caillou knew George. And nobody had ever seen him. Caillou suddenly had a wonderful idea. Yeah, let's have a race. Look, Mommy, look, Grandma. I'm having a race with my friend. I'm hungry. Why don't you go and tell Caillou it's lunchtime, okay, Rosie? Okay, Grandma. <laughs> As Caillou tried to hide the mess, he decided it 
was all George's fault that the flower pot was broken. Caillou! 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 Lunch time! Coming! George runs really fast, you know, but I beat him in a race. Where does George live, Caillou? I don't know exactly where he lives. Caillou? But I think he lives in our basement. George is probably my bestest friend in the whole world, you know. Caillou, look. We finished eating and you've been talking so much you haven't even touched your food. Sorry, Mommy. Maybe George had better go outside while you finish eating, okay? Okay, Mommy. Thank you, George. Caillou will be out soon. See you later, George. Hi, Caillou. Can you come here for a moment? Do you know anything about this? Uh, uh, George did it, Daddy. Are you sure George did this? Caillou's daddy knew that it wasn't really George who broke the flower pot. Yes, Daddy, we had a race and George knocked it down. Hmm, well, I think you might have had something to do with it, too. Don't you, Caillou? Yes, Daddy. I'll tell you what. Why don't you help me clean up this mess? And the next time you play with George, I think you both should be a bit more careful, okay? Caillou thought it was a very good idea. Okay. Good. You just hold the dustpan steady, and I'll use the brush. George is very clumsy, isn't he, Daddy? A bit like you, huh? I really like it when you push me on the swing. And I really like pushing you, Caillou. <laughs> oh, it's getting cold outside. I'm glad we're in here for our story time. Now, let's see what Caillou did today. Today's story is called Caillou Rakes the Leaves. Rosie were having so much fun, they didn't even notice that their mommy and daddy were watching them. <laughs> Caillou, Rosie. Well, it looks like you two are having fun. Daddy, mommy, come play with us. <laughs> daddy! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 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 Daddy, you blew the leaf. Show me a red leaf, Rosie. Yes, good for you. Here's a yellow one, Mommy, and another red one. Thank you, Caillou. And thank you, Rosie. Caillou loved spending all day <laughs> with his family, having fun in the leaves. I think it's time to go inside and make supper. Come along, you two. I'll stay and rake the leaves. Caillou was enjoying himself so much, he didn't want the fun to stop. He wanted this special day to last forever. Can I stay and help Daddy rake the leaves? Sure, I think that's a great idea. All right! There's an awful lot of leaves, Caillou. Do you think we can rake them all? Yes. Making the leaves, Daddy. Oh, well, it's rather hard work, but it's fun when we do it together. Caillou liked helping his daddy, but he also liked playing. He imagined that the piles of leaves were big houses in the city. I want to live in this one. Caillou was having so much fun pretending that the leaf piles were big houses, he didn't even notice that it was almost dark. Daddy, come see my house. Wow, that's a great house. Did you make it all by yourself? Yes. Come on in, you two. Supper's ready. Daddy, I had a fun day. So did I. 
I like it when I have my whole family around me. Me too. Did you finish raking the leaves? Yes, and there were lots and lots of them. I made a city too. Caillou helped me a lot, didn't you? Hey, what's that on your head? <laughs> Hi, you two. It's story time. Now, let's see. What did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's Big Friend. Caillou, this is Andre. His mommy and I have been friends since we were little. Caillou didn't think Andre was little at all. In fact, Andre seemed very big. You're already a big boy, Andre. How old are you? I'm six. Now, why don't you play with Andre while we talk? Come on, let's build a castle. Do you have any games we could play? I know. Let's play catch. Not inside. Catch. Uh, you broke my castle. No, I didn't. You knocked it over. You're not allowed to play ball in the house. Well, let's play something else then. Let's play hide and seek. Okay, I'll go hide. Okay, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come. Here I come. Caillou, where are you? Caillou, where are you? Caillou couldn't resist that barefoot. He had to tickle it. Yeah! Oops, I found you! That's not fair. I tripped. Yes, it is fair. Well, you're it, Caillou. Let's play something else. Well, okay. Do you have any toys in your room? Andre was upsetting Caillou. Wait for me! I'll get my robot! Andre, I got my robot! What was that? <laughs> you broke my chairs! Andre, are you hurt? <laughs> he broke my special chair! He's not my friend anymore! <laughs> Andre, I'm so sorry. Let me get a little bandage for that cut. It's okay. <laughs> Caillou was very angry with Andre. But when he saw the cut, he felt sorry for him. Is Andre hurt, Mommy? I'm sure he's gonna be all right, honey. I didn't mean to break Caillou's chair. It was an accident. Why don't you two play soccer outside for a little while? But the soccer ball is stuck in the tree. I can reach it! Hey, watch this! <laughs> Wait up! Look, kick it like this! Got it! Caillou was having fun playing with Andre now. Story time, kids. Oh, you're going to like this one. It's all about the time Caillou got covered with paint. It's called Caillou's Colors. Caillou was spending the day at his grandma's loft. He usually found lots of fun things to do there. But today was different. Caillou was in a bad mood, and he didn't feel like doing anything. Bored. He didn't know what to do. <sighs> Yoo hoo, Caillou! Uh oh! Surprise! 
It seemed as if nothing would cheer yeah. Caillou up. You must have got out of the wrong side of the bed today, Caillou. What does that mean? It means that some days you wake up feeling grumpy and don't know why. I'm not grumpy. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. We're going to have an apple pie for snack time. I have to go and check on it. I'm not hungry. I don't want apple pie. We'll see about that. Caillou was very grumpy. What was he to do? Caillou's grandma always let him use her paints. And Caillou always enjoyed painting. Caillou liked his blue picture. And then he decided to use some of grandma's other colors. Caillou, where are you? Here I am. Goodness, Caillou, just look at your hands. <laughs> I'm finger painting. And look at your wonderful painting. Oh, but you'll have to wash up if you want some pie. You do want some pie, don't you? Yes. Was it good, dear? Caillou. Hi, sweetie. Did you have a nice day with Grandma? Mommy, I did finger painting. Caillou was very grumpy at first, but then he did this lovely painting. And now he isn't grumpy anymore. I don't want to go home. But you can always come back another day. That's right. Anytime you get out of the wrong side of the bed and you're feeling grumpy, you come and see Grandma. I want to be grumpy again. Look, Caillou's a mailman. And that's perfect for today's story time, because today's story is called Caillou Mails a Letter. <laughs> Are you having fun, dear? Yes, Mommy. What a wonderful sunny day. I'm going to draw the sun. I think the mail's arrived. <laughs> I wonder if there's any nice letters today. Oh. Oh. Bills, bills, bills. Nothing but bills. It sure would be nice to get a letter for a change. Hi, Caillou. Is anything the matter? Mommy wants to get a letter. Does she now? Caillou explained how Mommy didn't like bills and wanted to get a letter. Well, why don't we send her one? In fact, I think you've already made one. Yes, look, that would make a wonderful letter. Can we send it to Mommy? Absolutely. We'll make sure the mailman brings it tomorrow morning. Caillou knew that people sometimes put kisses on letters with an X. A kiss, that's great. Now what we need is an envelope. They are, Daddy. I'll be right back. How about a stamp? Yes! Oh, Gilbert! Caillou, where are you? <gasps> <gasps> now, what are you two up to? Nothing. Nothing at all. Isn't that right, Caillou? <laughs> That's right, Mommy. Hmm. <laughs> if we want Mommy to get her letter in the morning, we'll have to have everything finished tonight. And we have to get up extra early in the morning. Yes. Yuck! Now, what else do we need to do? We need to stick on the stamp. That's right. The next morning, Caillou and his daddy got up extra early so they could meet the mailman. Mommy, Mommy, the mailman's coming! Mommy, I think you have 
have a letter today. Well, this letter looks interesting. Caillou, what a wonderful surprise. And you even got Gilbert to sign it. Thank you, Caillou. I'll keep my letter forever. Forever? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's the nicest letter I ever got. All ready for your bedtime story? Let's see what Caillou's up to tonight. It looks like he's going camping. I found you, Grandpa! <laughs> you have to catch me first! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hi, guys. That looks like fun. Why don't you come and join us in the garden? Okay, Daddy. Give me a person! <laughs> 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 oh, that reminds me of the time I took your daddy camping when he was a little boy. Camping with my daddy? Oh, you bet. We saw a big raccoon. <laughs> we went swimming in a waterfall. I want to go camping with you. A camping trip takes planning, Caillou. Well, it does sound like fun. And it needn't take a lot of planning. Do you still have that tent? Because I think I know just the spot. Hey! Hey, Caillou, where'd you go? Here I am, Grandpa. This time, you go inside while I hold the front up. Now, you see that pole in the back? A pole? I'd better show you. <laughs> 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 Look, Grandpa! Bugs! Oh, someone else has seen them, too. Come and see. Grandpa, I saw a nest and it had baby birds. Well, we'd better get that tent set up or we'll be sleeping in the trees tonight, too. And not too close now. They look perfect. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, <laughs> you look like a chipmunk. <laughs> Camping with Grandpa was going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> look at all the stars, Grandpa. Oh, it's getting late. I'll get the sleeping bags ready. Grandpa, what are those lights in the bushes? Those aren't lights, Caillou. They're fireflies. Oh, let's see if we can catch one. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> Grandpa? All these noises were making Caillou nervous. But Grandpa found a solution. Are you two campers awake yet? Breakfast is ready. Good morning. What happened? Did it get too cold last night? Oh, it got too noisy, so we decided to go camping inside the house. I was camping with Grandpa. Next time we go camping, we'll tell all the animals and birds to be quiet. <laughs> Bath time or story time? You decide. Story time, story time. All right, story time first, then bath time. Now. Let's see, what was Caillou up to today? This story is called, Caillou Learns to Swim. <laughs> Caillou, I'm right here. Oh. Are you coming in, Caillou? It's shiny, Daddy. Look. Maybe you'll come in the big pool with me next time. Okay. Remember the pool today? Yes. Would you like Daddy to teach you how to swim? Yes! 
A couple of days later, Caillou had his first lesson. He liked learning to swim. And after just a few lessons, he was getting better and better. I can do it this time, Daddy. I know you can, Caillou. I was swimming, Daddy! <laughs> I was swimming! Caillou wanted to swim and dive just like the big boys and girls. Do you want to go back in the water? I want to swim all by myself. Hmm. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Yay! I can swim now, Daddy. Come in with me, Daddy. You can see me swim all by myself. <laughs> That's it. Hold your arms out, just like I showed you. Caillou walked on the bottom of the pool, and very soon, he was swimming all by himself. That's it, Caillou. I'm swimming! I'm swimming! Can you see, Daddy? Yes, I'm right here. You can do it! Look at me! I'm swimming! <laughs> Suddenly, Caillou was afraid. Caillou? Caillou? Come this way. But his daddy was right there by his side. Take it easy, Caillou. Swim to me, just like we did before. That was a bit scary, wasn't it? But you knew I was there, didn't you? Yes, Daddy. You know what? You really were swimming, all by yourself. I was, wasn't I? I'm very proud of you. Just look at Caillou. He's all dressed up. Let's see what's going on. This story is called Caillou's New Babysitter. Caillou's mommy and daddy were going out for a special dinner. I want to go with you. Caillou, it's our anniversary. That's a special day for mommy and daddy. But we have something special for you and Rosie too. A brand new babysitter. Isn't that nice? I don't want a new babysitter. That must be Julie now. I'll go and let her in. I don't like Julie. Julie was a new babysitter. Caillou wanted his regular babysitter. So he made up his mind he wasn't going to like Julie at all. Hi, Caillou. I'm Julie. Just press this button. Mommy look pretty in her dress? And doesn't your daddy look smart in his tuxedo? Let's wave goodbye. Later that evening, it was supper time. I don't want any supper. I don't want any supper, too. Caillou, you have to eat your supper. You can't make me. I have an idea. Your mommy and daddy are going out for a special anniversary supper. So why don't we do the same? Mmm! Even though Caillou had decided he wouldn't like Julie, he was curious mm. about this idea. Come on then, what are we waiting for? Now you look just as handsome as your daddy. Do I really? You bet. Caillou discovered he was starting to like Julie. Now let's go and make Rosie look as nice as your mommy. Gilbert! Hold it! <laughs> Caillou liked Julie's dressing up game, but he still didn't care very much for salad. Come on, Caillou, you have to eat. I don't want any supper. I don't want any supper, too. <laughs> hmm. Well, if you don't want supper, why don't we have breakfast instead? Huh? <laughs> How can we have breakfast? It's supper time. It's easy. From now on, everything's going to be the opposite way around. You'll see. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh. 
<laughs> Hi, Caillou. Hi, Julie. Did you all have as much fun as we did? We had breakfast. Really? But what about your supper? I thought they could have their supper tomorrow, if that's all right. I'm sure that'll be fine, Julie. And now, if you're ready, I'll take you home. No, Daddy, no. Caillou had been having so much fun with his new babysitter. He didn't want her to leave. Don't worry, Caillou. I promise I'll come back and see you very soon. <laughs> <laughs>